With the boat show, we're hopping on board Y200, the latest addition to the Wally brand, which is well known for its content of excellence in technology, but above all for the innovations it has always projected onto the yachting market. Y200 is a boat of almost 24 metres in length and weighs 200 gross tonnes. It can be defined as a hybrid. Why? Because it fulfills the functions of both the traditional displacement boats and the planing ones. Why is something completely new? It means creating a new segment and elevating the Wally brand. The know-how of Luca Bassani and his team, the know-how of the Ferretti Group and its technical and industrial team created something that did not exist before. That is to consider as a completely new segment. The name Wally, which uh, significa Wally Hybrid Yacht, the name Y, which means Wally Hybrid Yacht, mainly refers to the flexibility that this boat has thanks to its hull, to the width and therefore to all the interiors. It can be seen as a yacht but also as an explorer or even as one of those boats that nowadays are defined as crossovers because they are a mix between a trawler and a fast boat. I have to say that the response from the public was as expected, in the sense that the boat is eye-catching from both the outside and the inside. There will be smaller and larger models following the same line, series, concepts that this Y200 has launched on the market. One of the innovations of this Y200 is the particular forward cabin that has an amazing view of the sea. La grande prua del Y, che è molto alta vista da fuori, in realtà nasconde due funzioni. The large bow of the Y, which is very high, seen from the outside, actually hides two functions. One is to be able to go up against very rough waters, that is, managing to always be above the waves, while, for the first time, on the inside, this new volume is used as the owner's cabin. What's the advantage of this? The advantage is that you are definitely in the area with the best view, and you are also far from the noise, from the generators and from the engines. One may ask, doesn't it rock more at the bow? And usually the answer would be, yes it does, but not on this boat because the hull has been studied thoroughly. And then tested in the towing tank in Southampton. So the result is that of a bow that rocks very little, even when we're navigating at 15, 20, 24 knots, which is our maximum speed. The forward master's cabin is not the only innovation when it comes to the interiors. There is also the large staircase with a carbon structure, which allows the living area of the main deck to be freed from bulkheads and structures, creating a broad loft space. Below deck, the size and finishing touches of the VIP cabin are similar to a master's cabin of a boat at the limit of 24 meters. The interiors are completed by two guest cabins and the crew quarters with five beds. Y200 is registered as a pleasure watercraft under 24 metres. This greatly simplifies the life of the owners, both for the titles that are necessary for the crew and for the general management of the boat. For all intents and purposes, this is a watercraft. It is a 24 meter, even though its overall length is 27 meters. It also respects the rules of the under 24 meters load line length, which is the equivalent for the English register flags or any registry that follows this rule. This allows you to have a crew, to still have five beds, but you need fewer licenses less paperwork when entering and leaving ports and when entering and leaving the European Union. 
La carena è stata disegnata insieme allo studio Lauren Giles e all'ufficio tecnico Ferretti. The hull was designed together with the Laurent Giles NA studio and the Ferretti technical department. The choice fell on them because we knew that they had already advanced quite thorough studies on these hulls for semi-displacement boats, which is a bit of a new trend. It is a demanding hull because these are boats that have to navigate in that non-displacement, non-planing situation, therefore very, very difficult conditions. So the Ferretti Technical Office and the Laurent Giles NA studio planned and designed and after which we tested this hull in the tank. And I must say that the result was optimal. We're very happy. Questa barca nasce già da progetto anche se non esisteva ancora lì. Although the hybrid diesel electric engine from Volvo Penta is still under planning, this boat was born in collaboration with Volvo Penta in order to mount the hybrid part. That is the hybrid portion electric portion on its IPS. And when they will be ready, we will be the first to have this engine and to mount it on this boat in order to offer the possibility to have a booster and to have a silent mode. Clearly, it is something we pay a lot of attention to. Il Y200 ha una propulsione composta da quattro motori Volvo. The Y200 has a propulsion made of four Volvo Penta IPS engines, which therefore allow you to reach a maximum speed of 24 knots, but also allow you to keep speeds much lower in an economical way. For example, you can quietly navigate at night at 10, 12 knots. Tranquillamente a 10, 12 nodi. Per stabilizzare la barca, to stabilize the boat, we use two sea keepers and also zero speed Humphrey fins. By using them together, you have a perfect combination of stability. As for the style of the interiors, we worked with Andrea Vallicelli. With studio Andrea Vallicelli and co, because Andrea and I have a bit of a similar background when it comes to sailing boats and navigation, and therefore not to lose the Wally DNA, which ultimately comes from sailing boats. We thought that with studio Andrea Vallicelli and co, we would have an easier working relationship and a more common view because they are not only architects, but they are also sailors. There is also a lot of talk about minimalism when it comes to Wally. I don't think we've ever been minimalistic. We've been simple and materialistic in the sense that we would like to work with materials, feel the materials typically used in boats. Y200 is a new word in the crowded market of the 24-metre segment. Like all boats of the Wally brand, it will be a reference point for the competition, a reference point for ideas and technology.